Motor Week is made possible by Lucas Oil, TireRack.com, and RockAuto.com. Sport utility vehicles are very popular these days. But ask anyone who's bought one recently and they'll also tell you they're very expensive. But take heart, there are still some bargains in the 4x4 market. And one's a classic design from the company that started it all. It's the Jeep Cherokee. No, not the Grand Cherokee, but the original four-door compact sport utility, Cherokee. This daddy of today's hottest trucking trend has changed little in appearance since its debut in the fall of 1983. And while it hardly carries the somewhat more aerodynamic lines of its successor, time has not stood completely still for the good old Cherokee. But its mechanical changes have had a profound impact on the evolution of the old rough and ready 4x4 into today's more modern sport utility. Mechanical changes for 1995 are less significant than those of previous years, but when one hops behind the steering wheel, they'll notice a big change. That wheel is now home for an airbag, making the Cherokee as well set up with safety equipment as some of its newest competitors. Otherwise, the Cherokee's flat dash hasn't been altered much since our 1987 test. It's just a bit neater now with less of the 80s imitation chrome trim. And while the gauges aren't as slick as those of some newer sport utes, they're still large and comprehensive. But just about every other current 4x4's cockpit is larger than that of the Cherokee. The seats may not look fancy, though you can order leather, and they're firm and supportive. A comfortable rear seat is never out of style, and the Cherokee just qualifies. The seat back doesn't split, but it does fold completely flat. So the standard cargo space of 35.7 cubic feet nearly doubles to 71.8 with the seat down, while the standard spare tire mounts inside, an outside hanger is optional. Every top-line sport utility has a V6 under the hood nowadays, but in our Cherokee Sport, it's an inline six. Jeep's near legendary engine displaces four liters, making 190 horsepower and 224 pound-feet of torque. So Cherokee horsepower beats the Ford Explorer by almost 20%. Our Sport pumped power through an optional four-speed automatic. And Jeep's standard command track shift on the fly part-time four-wheel drive system. In two-wheel drive, it romped from zero to 60 in only 8.9 seconds and a quarter mile of 16.8 seconds at 82 miles per hour. The Cherokee remains one of the fastest in its class. And it also tackled our slalom course with the same level of competence and actually quicker maneuverability than some more sophisticated designs. On the open road, the Cherokee lacks some of the ride comfort of modern sport utes. There's still a lot of jostling from side to side. But off-road, Cherokee roughs it with the best of them. Coil springs in the front and leaf springs in the rear combined with very quick steering to make the Cherokee a good companion in tight spaces. And what you may sacrifice in refinement for the Cherokee, you'll make up for in price. The Cherokee four-wheel drive line begins at only $15,215 for the two-door SE. Step up to a four-door four-wheel drive sport and you'll shell out a still reasonable $18,606. Our well-optioned test vehicle drove away for $23,943, or about where competitive 4x4 prices start. So if you're eager to join the sport utility ranks, but your bank book makes you hesitant, the Jeep Cherokee may be the perfect choice. It's an oldie, but a goodie.